Hey babies, it's Joy Navon and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So today I'm back with another natural hair video of course and this time I'm doing a twist and curl. I posted a photo over on my Instagram recently asking you guys what I should do to my hair for the week and out of the options that i gave you a lot of you guys the majority of you guys said that you wanted to see me do a twist and curl and to please film it so that is what i'm doing i want to say that i did something very similar to this on my channel before but i've never made like a dedicated video for it so here we go so i'm starting off with freshly washed hair i washed my hair earlier in the day i'm filming this at night by the way like right before bed so if i look tired that is why um but yes i just washed my hair and i deep conditioned it and everything and so now i'm just moisturizing my hair as you saw i picked up the as i am um dry and itchy scalp care leave-in conditioner so this is the leave-in and how i have began moisturizing my hair is just by um, doing it in sections so first I apply the leave-in and then I apply my oil this is the Africa's best oil and after that I'm going to take the twisting souffle by Miel and I'm just going to uh, begin twisting my hair so this is basically all like doing a you know a twist out pretty basic information um, you know a two strand twist out and then after that i'm going to grab some eco styler gel and what i like to do with the eco styler gel is just put it at the very tips of the twist and you know get that nice and not saturated but you know put it make sure i have a decent amount of of um gel on my twist and then i just wrap the perm rod roller around it towards the end so again i'm just going to make my section in a pretty decent medium size and i'm going to take some of that leave-in that africa is the best oil and the twisting souffle as a cream to seal my moisture in and then i'm going to put it all over my hair detangle it and then start twisting and while i'm twisting i'm going to add some eco styler gel towards the end seal my ends and then add a roller So after I finished all of that, this is just how I'm going to bed. I'm going to put on my bonnet and I will leave this bonnet link down below where I got it from. I get questions about it every single time I wear this bonnet in a video. So check the description box for that. Now this is the next day I have completely let my twist dry fully and I feel like that is something that all of us naturals know but something that we don't like to follow the rule of is making sure that we let our twist dry all the way trust me if you are new to this that is the major key I know it's very you know you're impatient you want to see what your hair is going to look like but if you do not let your twist dry all the way you are going to be disappointed every single time so please just make sure that you your twists are completely dry before you unravel them so I have oil on my fingers by the way that same Africa's best oil and I'm going to you know start unraveling my hair after taking all of my perm rods out and I have this sped up right now but I am taking my time with this process I'm just unraveling or untwisting my hair in the opposite direction of how I twisted it and curled it so if you did watch my last twist out tutorial video that I did for you guys I showed you guys the perfect way to unravel your twist out so if you missed that video please make sure you go ahead and check it out so you can see like a slowed down version or a more in-depth version on how to properly unravel your hair but that's just what I'm doing here and then once I have everything 
untwisted I'm just going to start separating the hair just naturally as it wants to come apart now this part is optional you can separate or not separate your hair as much or as little as you would like I'm someone who likes volume in my hair I love the look of fluffy bouncy hair and that is definitely what I was going for here I was not going for you know prime definition in my hair and I'm usually not when I'm doing a twist and curl I'm more so just going for like a curly full bouncy fluffy you know fluffy looking afro so if you're doing what I'm doing here in this video these should be the results that you get now if you decide to not separate it as much of course like I said you're going to get more definition in your hair but also too please keep in mind that you will not have as much volume in your hair before picking it out So once I've done all of my separating in my hair, I decided to do, you know, just a cute little something something in the front of my hair. I wanted to do like two, um, not space buns, but just two like little puffs at the front, at the top of my hair, just, you know, for some fun, like I said. And then I'm just securing that with some rubber bands very loosely. They're not tight on my hair at all and then I'm just going to go in with my wide tooth comb and I'm going to begin picking out my hair at the root. I'm picking out at the root. You never want to pick out or comb out your curls that you just spent all day yesterday putting in your hair. So just be mindful of that. And then I'm just going to hit my edges with some edge control. This is the edge control by Pantene from their gold series collection. I didn't show it, but that's what I've been using lately. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please let me know of any requests that you might have for me to do, especially while we're here being quarantined. Um, I want to make sure that I'm giving you guys content that you actually want to see. So never be afraid to leave any suggestions down below in the comment section. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at JoyNavon to see more of me and my hair and my makeup also. If you guys are interested in makeup tutorials, shameless plug, um, please follow my Instagram because I've been posting a lot of makeup tutorials over there. Like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and until then, I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye.